Hey guys, so today we will learn about design rules of magic and how we create BMOS and MOS, CMOS transistors, how we create the layout of these transistors. So we will run magic here and uh, as you can see I have already explained these steps. You have to go to downloads folder or any folder where you have installed the magic and from there you have to run your magic software. Okay. So as you can see, this is my layout window and this is my console window. In layout window, we will draw our layouts. By pressing G, we can see the grids here. Okay, so this is our grid and we can zoom in and zoom out using Z. And uh, you can see DRC here. This DRC means design rules check. So when we draw any layout, of BMOS and MOS, CMOS or any any other inverters or NOT gates or anything then we have to follow this DRC rules. Then what is this DRC rules? This is the DRC rule as you can see it is also called as MOSIS rule okay MOSIS is scalable, scalable CMOS okay so you have to read this document you have to understand what are the DRC you have to maintain to draw the layout okay you can see these DRCs as you can see the description this rule okay this is n well this is p well what are the separation rule for that you can see 1.2 minimum separation should be 9 okay lambda 9 and uh, this is p well here what will be the minimum separation so whatever the material you are going to use in magic there will be some width length and some separation of those materials you have to follow those things using this drc rules you will understand in uh, this video how we will check the drc and what are the drc rules you can draw any diagram and after that also you can check the drc whether it is zero or more than one and what are the drc error this software will give you all these things okay so you can see the grid here in grid there is one small boxes all these are one small small boxes okay these boxes is of one into one lambda means one width and one length okay one lambda means one micro it is the distance we have given okay so when i point it out here you can see here you will see the width and length as you can see plus one and plus one so this box is of plus one and plus one okay if i will point it out here this is also plus one and plus one and if i have to expand this then we will use right click and we will point to that square block where i have to expand this so you can see and here if i have to expand it till here then i will take my pointer here and i will click right click okay so you can see I have expanded my selection like this we will use our left click or right click here if I have to make it a small I will point it out from uh, here to here and I will press right click in starting you will face some problem but if you keep practicing then it will be easy for you to do. okay so this is how we will use our left click and right click and uh, I will recommend you to use mouse with this because we need three clicks you can't get three clicks in your touchpad, laptop touchpad. So I will recommend you to use mouse because we will use center click also of mouse. Okay, so this is how we will use mouse. And uh, next thing is DRC, how we will check DRC. Okay, uh, think as I have selected this one area. I have, and these are different, different materials. What we will use in construction of our layouts. As you can see, this is polysilicon, okay. We use polysilicon. You have studied this in your theory classes that we will use polysilicon in construction of MOSFET. This is capacitor we can use. Well capacitor is there. So different different end diffusion is there. Okay, so N well is there. So different different things are here. So this uh, if I have want to use polysilicon, so I will click this polysilicon using center click of my mouse. And I have already selected one area. Okay. So it will appear in this area only. So I will go here and I will click center click. 
as you can see this is appeared in this area and you can see my drc is equal to 2 okay and uh, there are some white levels you can see here what these means means this area should be extended on these white levels then only my drc will be zero means right now i have two errors what are the errors you can check it here uh, by using command find drc DRC file, my bad. Huh. The error 2, polysilicon width must be at least 2. Moises rule 3.1. As you can see, it has already given the Moises rule 3.1. And you can check this Moises rule 3.1 from here. And this is 2.1. Yeah. Minimum width. Okay. Minimum width 3.1. This, this is the polysilicon. This is 3.1. And minimum width has been explained to 2 means 2 cross 2 square block the lambda should be 2 1 lambda is equal to 1 micro okay so this is how you will check your drc problem what are the errors and what you have to rectify so it should be 2 cross 2 right now it is 1 cross 1 so what i will do i will extend this square block till here i will take my pointer till here and i will click on right click of my mouse and i will select this okay, first here and First clicking left click here and second right click here. Okay, I have selected this and now I will make this as polysilicon. Okay. okay, so you can see this is my polysilicon area and my DRC now is zero. No problem. This is how we will follow our DRC rule and we will check our DRC after each step. Okay, and if you will go for metal, you can see for metal also. If I will select this one and I will go for metal, you can see. So, there are errors and it shows two white dots, two square blocks. So, if I will extend this till here and we will again do it as metal. Okay, so my DRC is zero. Okay, you can see this. So, these are the rules we have to follow. And this is how we will draw any layers in our magic software. Got it. So we will delete this one. And uh, what what we will do to delete this one? We will select the area and we will click on here. We will click middle click, center click of mouse. Yes. Okay. So this area also become as this. What about this? We will select this and we will click here. Okay. So now it is deleted. What we will do now? So these are the basics of magic. How we will run the magic and how we will use our mouse and what are the DRC rules. Okay, so you have to study this rule and you have to follow it here. Otherwise, your design will fail. Okay, you have to draw the optimum design in less space, in less area to get the maximum output. Okay, so now I'm going to draw one and MOS. Okay, so what and MOS or PMOS? First, we will draw PMOS. So you can see PMOS diagram and then MOS. This is CMOS view. CMOS is the combination of PMOS and NMOS. As you can see, you have learned this. This is the 3D view of CMOS. This is P type. This is n well, n type. These are the P diffusions, and this is the polysilicon. Polysilicon will act as the gate. This will act as the source and drain, and some insulators are in between. This for again for n mos, same thing will follow. This is source and drain. This is n diffusion. This is polysilicon, and both have been connected. And we will connect one input and we will take another output from these things. We will connect metals as BDD and ground. So these are the things we have to follow. This is how we will draw our PMOS and MOS and CMOS. Got it? So you can see first I will draw PMOS. For drawing PMOS, as you can see, this P type. First we have to draw this P type. 
but here in magic the grid you can see here this is all p type by default so we don't have to draw any p type p well this is all p well so we will not draw this p type okay this layer is already p type got it so for drawing p mos we will go for n well first okay so we have to find first we have to select an area for n well i will select uh, okay random area first make it little big okay so i have selected this area now i will go for n well i will find n well here so this is my n well and i will click center key okay as you can see it has shown some trc problem what we will do we will expand this area okay so you can see our drc is zero now so this is how we will draw now what is the second step we have drawn the anvil what is the second step we have to do second step this p source and drain p diffusion okay so we will find p diffusion here first for that we will select an area for p diffusion okay so i want to leave two lambda from this side two lambda from this side two lambda from this side and two lambda from this side okay so my area should be uniform got it and uh, right now it is 9 7 i don't want that also okay we will see afterwards so i will draw p diffusion here we have to find p diffusion where is the p diffusion and diffusion this is the p diffusion so i will drop p diffusion got it so what is the third step third step is the polysilicon this is the polysilicon we have to drop one polysilicon then uh, first for that this polysilicon will come out of p mos and it will be connected to n mos so i will keep my polysilicon in between and you can see 3 and 3 we have left it from both the side and this one okay so this is my polysilicon area and uh, we will find polysilicon polysilicon okay so this is the polysilicon okay so there is one drc issue what is my drc issue uh, let me check uh, let me check it okay so diffusion must be overhang transistor by at least 3 MOSFET rule 3.4. See the MOSFET rule 3.4. Yeah, minimum active extension of poly should be 3 lambda and uh, 3.4. You can see the minimum active extension should be 3 lambda. Active extension means it is not telling me about the active extension of poly. Tells me about the active extension of n well above which I have drawn poly. Okay, so it should be at least of three lambda. You getting my point? And here in our diagram, this is you can see this. Uh, sorry, n well, uh, this p p diffusion. It is not of three lambda. So we have to extend this. We extend this, and we have to make this as three lambda. Now you can see my DRC is zero. So this is how you will follow the DRC rules. So we have made this p mos now we will go for n mos what we will do for n mos you can see the diagram sorry for n mos you can see we need n diffusion and again poly poly will be connected to p mos okay so this this area is already p type so we will go for uh, n diffusion Where is my end feature? So this is my end feature. First, we will select an area. And, uh, select like this, okay? End feature. We will try to select same area as the feature. This end feature should be of same area. Okay, we will check it after. So this is my end feature. Now see, there is again some DRC problem. So we can check what is my DRC problem. DRC problem. Here to MOSFET rule 2.3. P type diffusion must be 10 away from N type diffusion. 10 away. And right now we have 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इज ऑलरेडी टेन Can undo this using U. Okay. I will delete this one. My DRC is gone. I will use this area for my and diffusion. Okay. So now there is no DRC. You can see my separation is one two. Okay. Uh, must be the separation will be counted from here. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten. At least ten. Okay, fine. So this is my end diffusion for end mos. Now I will connect this poly region to my end diffusion. I will connect this poly to end diffusion. Done. Again, this uh, I will say the same thing. Okay, so three lambda will be the separation as we have followed it here also. Okay, so we have constructed PMOS as you can see here on the screen. This is our PMOS and this is our NMOS and this is the polysilicon gate. Here you can see this is source of PMOS, this is source of NMOS, this is drain of PMOS and this is drain of NMOS. Okay, so you have to practice this and you have to submit the report. Okay, and you can see here there is this uh, DRC is zero. So we have constructed PMOS and NMOS today. In next class, we will construct inverter. We will extend this layout and we will make inverter with this. Okay, so that's it for today. You can save this file from here. I have already saved it that's why it's have given this type of command here and save this file with some name and it will come in dot mac file extension okay save it and after this we will make inverter in next class okay thank you